have this HR12 here and this machine has been reported as non-working one so as soon as you turn the machine on the alarm goes off and nothing works okay so let's try so the machine is on charge and the charger is on and showing full charge so the battery should be fully charged let's try to turn the power on um, So that's constant alarm going off. So I think what's may happening is either way or we don't have enough power in the control circuit because the power in the control circuit is different from these batteries and it comes out from that little battery right down there. So I think what I'm gonna do, I will try to measure the voltage on that battery. Okay. Have a look. That's good. Negative. Okay, so we have twelve volts. And if I release the e-stop, I'm going to have the twelve volts. So we still have 12 volts, but that, for some reason, overload alarm goes off. Okay, so what I will do, I will open this box here, and uh, I will see what's happening with that cage weight board. Is it going off, or what's happened there? I think we go from there. Okay, so, key is on. The box is loose, let's open that. Not sure if you can see that, but that guy there has blew his top off. Let me see if I can put some light on. You see, you see all this box is yellow because look what's happened there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but here we go. Alright, so the problem is with that. Hmm. The other thing I notice here, there is a lot of heat on this component right there, and that component is like a Zener diode. It's a diode for the protection. It's not actual diode, it's just uh, over voltage protection diode. And uh, what I think was may happen here, that this device has failed this uh, the voltage regulator okay because it has a light on and the voltage i'm getting on the battery only 12 volts because the light is on so i should have about 13 and a half volts on the battery but i have only 12 and the light on so i'm pretty sure that device has failed let's have a look on the fuse here Okay, so fuse is good, or it's been replaced. So fuse is good. So look, I remove the fuse, the light stays on. So it's definitely a problem with this with this unit. So I think this unit has failed and uh, over voltage damaged this board. So what I will do now, I will fit a new board in here, and then I will replace this unit here and uh, then we're gonna test the machine but i think this is what has happened all right so replace the unit here so this is old one that's a new one so i didn't try that yet um i just want to see the voltage different with a new unit okay so let's put my multimeter back on so look i have now 12.07 volts okay so new unit fitted and the new new board here as well so let's try to switch the machine on okay 
Okay. So that's gone red. It's maybe gonna go into overload. We will see. But that need, needs to be calibrated. It's a new board without the calibration. So that's fine. But the alarm is stopped. You see the voltage is 11.8 now. So the battery is not fully charged. So what I will do now, I'll push the green button and that should trigger the charge for the whole battery. See, that came on red and the voltage now is going up. So we've got 13.2 and that's rising. So that module was definitely damaged. I'm not sure what's happened here or someone tried to jump start it off 24 volts or that module failed and damaged this board here but those two components are faulty so I'll try, try to drive the machine outside and just get the cage weight calibrated or just to bring the weights in here and I think it's gonna be good to go so first thing as always I will calibrate zero so I have nothing in the cage the safe working load for this machine is 200 kilos so I will do a zero with empty cage so you just need to make sure that you don't rest yourself on a cage and the, nothing is touching the cage and we press and hold that for about 7 to 10 seconds so and you will see the lights coming on as usually on the on the right hand side there Okay, let me just move these wires out of the way. Okay, so I can see the light. So let's push this in and look at the light. So one, two, three, go. So that's all. It's about, it should be about seven to ten seconds. See, all the lights came on now. And if I release, as we have restarted. And so the next step is going to be to load 200 kilos in a cage and I press SWL button. Okay, so I got my 200 kilos in a cage, so 25 kilos each, so 100, 200, okay. So alarm is going off, but that's okay, not a big problem here. So now, you see that showing overload. So what I will do now, SWL, safe working load, so about 7 to 10 seconds, and those lights are going to change, so let's go, 1, 2, 3, go. The lights came on, let's see right there, the lights on, release the button, so board has restarted now. Okay, it's alarming now again because it's overloaded. So, if I disconnect this plug here, my calibration tool, and what I will do, I'm just gonna push the cage up, just gently up. So, alarm stopped. If I let it go, alarm starts again. And you can see on the red light, so once, I'm, once I pull the cage up, the red light starts flashing. Okay, it's coming close to the limit. And a solid light means it's gonna go into overload. So let it go. Solid, solid light. Okay, overload. So it's all working fine. No problems with that. So, all good to go now.